Welcome to another episode of Insanely Real. In this episode, I'm going to give you a tutorial on Traves Open RPG's chat features. And chat is it's pretty simple. It's HTML, which is really nice. It offers a lot of richness uh, when you're in chat, but it's all it's all basic HTML. So the first part of it is really easy to understand. Um, when you open up Trapes Open RPG, you'll see Welcome to Trapes, Ornery Orc, um, and then this is the build number built on Open RPG 1.8.0. Now I chose to use the alpha because I'm also going to give you a little bit on namespace and the Trapes namespace and namespace and chat are pretty pretty interrelated. So you can see it's in red and then this is in blue and it's underlined. That's because it's just using basic HTML. This is a an anchor link, so I'll open up this and it will bring me to my Trapes movement page. And you can do that in chat using just regular chat material. So I will type my name and I will use a an HTML font syntax and then my name what I typed will then be size 15 because that's what I used. So like I said it's just basic HTML and you can set it, set links, do whatever you want in a regular HTML. Uh, now chat also, we also roll dice in chat. When we roll dice we use brackets, these little brackets here and dice follows a number of dice d die format so if I want to roll 1d20 I just type in the bracket 1d20 if I want to roll 1d20 plus 10 I will roll 1d20 and then add 10 or I can roll 2d10 and get the same thing and there's quite a few number of dice available for OpenRPG. Uh, to find out what die roller you're using, you just use the die roller command, and it says you are using the alternative die roller. So I will use a command. I will show you how to find out what your commands are in just a minute, and switch my die roller to standard. That's just abbreviated for standard. And then I will show you some of the other features of chat. Each die roller can be created to have different functions. So what I'm going to show you here is 1d20 open 3. Now nah, let's go 3d20. So you can see I should be able to get a 3 by then. And what what this does is dot open will every time I roll a 3 it will roll more dice. Then we also have aliases. So I can set my name to John as an alias and instead of it looking like me it will be using John. So if you have if you want to enter chat as your character, you can then enter cat chat as your character. And I am now John. Okay, so chat has some commands we can use. So I will show you how to find the commands and it is help. So you just type in slash help and it shows you all of the list of commands. So if I want to do slash question mark that will be a command or I can do all of these other commands and uh, the same thing in chat see what a ping looks like when I'm not connected nothing so there's there's a lot to chat but it's it's really 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 simple once you open up the commands you can see how how many commands there are how much there is to chat and then knowing that it's all basic HTML, you can modify uh, however you want to your chat. I can also change my uh, text color here. If I want to set my text color to dark gray, then when I enter chat, my mouse, my text color is gray. So you can see it. I'll do it with a red. 
So chat's really easy. Um, the die rollers is going to be another tutorial. There's a lot to the die rollers. Uh, I have a whole node here on using the, using the die rollers. And uh, we'll talk about that later. The next thing I want to talk to you about is, oh, purge the chat, is uh, a little bit about namespace because the, the Trapes namespace uses the chat. Namespace is a way to reference nodes with the game tree. And I'll go into the game tree in a whole nother tutorial. But with, with the namespace, you can reference node data and receive uh, the data that's available. So with namespace, my namespace is a little bit different than other versions. <coughs> I use a different syntax, but I also have a, a much more powerful namespace. And you can see that in a different video about where I post how standard versus traips and I'll show you the differences. So the first thing I'll show you is we're going to look at this 4E node because that's on top. So what I do is I get exclamation ampersand and then I want to pull up the 4E node and then I put in colons. Now two colons is just like a backslash in, uh, in your uh, file browser. Whenever you have two colons it's like you're entering a backslash and then I will look for abilities. And I will pull up, I have to spell it right. I will pull up, what's odd, what's odd is that it will pull up this one. It's not quite odd, it's just that namespace finds the very first one. But my namespace has a future check, so I can go And now I will be using a grid reference. And namespace will then look for the abilities grid here and pull up uh, row three, column two. So namespace has a lot to it. Um, say I wanted to pull up something from belt. I'll pull up belt slot one. and then I'll get my belt. Now if I do just slot one, I'll get backpack because it finds the first reference. So that's that's chat in a nutshell. It's really basic. Um, it's really simple. There's There's a lot you can do with it but it's it's really really simple you can roll dice you can use one uh, many of the dice features and in another tutorial I'll go over that you can use um, namespace references and uh, it's it's pure HTML so in the next episode I think I will go over uh, the map which will be a little bit more extensive because there's more layers so tune in next episode for another tutorial on open.